In this example, I'm going to show you how you can share a specific button with another user or another person using TalkTablet on another device within a classroom or within a hospital or clinic or anywhere else in the world. This is how you share a button. These being buttons. Okay, the first thing you need to do is make sure you've signed into sharing. So hit menu, settings, go into sharing, and press login if you haven't already registered. Now put my login name here. And then hit login. And it says user is logged in. Okay. Press the done button right at the top left hand corner there. Okay. So let's suppose this button here, numbers. it opens up my numbers page. So I would like to share that button with another user and have everything underneath it be shared as well, which it would be. So if I share this numbers button, it won't be just this button with the name numbers and a little similar. It will actually include everything that's underneath that as well, which is fantastic. So let's do that. So to share that button, I hit edit. Then I touch anywhere on the button and I choose share. Now if I hadn't logged in, this share option would not appear because I've successfully logged in, that shows up. Okay, so I hit share and I give it a description and I will call it uh, my name and numbers. Helps if you can spell correctly. Okay, Gord numbers and I press okay. Then I hit share. It says uploading items for sharing, please wait. Just takes a moment. And it depends how much you're uploading. And right now it's uploading both that numbers button and everything underneath it as well too. So the actual buttons with the numbers on them and so on. Okay, so it's finished now. So I can, let's switch users. So I'm a different user now. And I'm going to switch to user called weather user, which I used in a previous example. Okay. This is a different user completely. And I have a row of empty buttons here in the bottom. And uh, first thing I need to do is to sign into sharing. So let me do that. Menu, settings, sharing. I'm going to log in. Touch edit. And I'm going to choose add. And I'm going to choose download. And again, download is appearing because I'm logged in to sharing. If I wasn't logged into sharing, you wouldn't see the download button. So I choose download. It's retrieving all the available downloads. And again, there are a lot of them. We have thousands of users of TalkTablet now, and they've uploaded generously hundreds of pages, buttons, uh, vocabularies in multiple languages. And there are a lot of them. So. Uh, thank you, first of all, to all those people who have contributed. It's fantastic. But when you're sharing a button or a page or a vocabulary, for that matter, you can determine whether it's private or public. And if it's private, only you can download it so nobody else can see it. But these ones are listed as publics, so and that's why you can see them. Okay, now there are, like I said, there are many hundreds of pages that people have donated. And if you go through these, you can get a sense of what they are. Uh, some of them are in Finnish and Swedish or French and and there's all kinds of them in here. Uh, some of them are very elaborate too. So to make it easy to find um, what you're exactly you're looking for, you can search or you can sort by username, description, most recent, first, or category. So let's go on most recent. And the reason I'm doing that is because that brings up the most recent addition to the, the, the web server uh, list of files and here is the one I just uploaded from my other user called Gord Numbers. It's right here and right at the very top because it was the most the last uh, file that was uploaded. So all I need to do is touch on it and then choose download. It's downloading symbols and remember it's going to bring in that numbers button and everything underneath it. Download has been completed. I press the done button here in the top left hand corner and there is the numbers button. Second position, first row. If I touch on it, you'll notice numbers. everything's here. Yes. No. Not only that, it's added the at my school link. At my school. And all of those buttons accordingly. 
So it's a fantastic thing. You can download just a button, and if it's a button that opens up an underlying page and other underlying pages underneath that, it brings it all in, which is fantastic.